Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cher, aka That Girl Cher, and this is my review slash tutorial of the Tammy Clark collection with Revolution Beauty, featuring the Twilight palette. And after three attempts, I finally got a successful look that I liked. So if you want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Thank you, and let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm actually munching because I was eating lunch while uh, working on this look, but I had previously did a whole eyeshadow look, which is why my lids are a little bit red and wiped it off because I absolutely hated how it was coming out. So this is me right now going back in and reapplying the primer to my eyelids. Of course, with my P. Louise base in uh, the shade four. And these eyeshadow shields are something I actually recently purchased from Amazon. I wanted to test them out to see if they work, just to allow me a little bit more flexibility, um, especially under time constraints without having to worry so much about fallout and giving the skin a more flawless finish. It's more like me testing it, in, uh, it's more so for clients. But um, I like them and they weren't painful. I think I got a pack of them for like 10 bucks with like 50 of them i'll put the link in the description oh excuse me so anyways so i go right in with one of the pressed glitters called uh moonlit which is this white glitter but uh it has like an iridescent purple look to it um, I can't tell if that's because I actually managed to get some of a different color in there by accident or if that's the actual shade because it looks white before I touched it, but, uh, yeah. Um, that is one thing I will say I don't... Excuse me. Ugh, I'm not trying to do that on purpose. Um, one thing I didn't like about this palette was the glitters, uh, were very mushy. Like, I know pressed glitters are a tough thing anyway, but I just didn't like how they sat in the pan and I had to be very careful or else I would make, like, risk knocking all of the glitter out of the pan. Um, and I had to switch the brush up. I ended up using a, like, soft, uh, flatter brush to get the color inside of my lid because it wasn't showing up. So I went in with a second color, which you can see I'm applying over the middle there, is the shade Starry Night. So it's like a blue-green, it's also a sparkly color. Um, it complemented the moonlit shade that is in my inner corner. You can, um, I'm listening to something, but also you can see in my face that I'm overall much happier with the way that this is coming out. Uh, because like I said, I had attempted it, a look from this palette three times and I hated all of them. Uh, which I don't think is necessarily the fault of the palette. It might just not be... It was a challenging thing for me to, to work on. But anyway, so for my corners, I actually took the shade Nightfall and Night Walk um, and mixed those together to create the outer edge. You see me pointing to them. They're a dark blue and a dark green. And I thought those two colors married really nicely with the two uh, colors on my in the center of my lid and in my inner corners with the iridescent purple, the green, and the blue. They were, they were, uh, very pretty. It was giving a very, uh, space look, which actually complemented pretty well what I was watching, which it ended up being, like, a review about someone doing an album, uh, themed with, uh, with uh, like a intergalactic story. So I'm just going back in and retouching those colors to make sure nothing gets drowned out. And you see how on camera it kind of shows up, you're seeing more green and yellow, but it's like one of those like 
shades it's kind of holographic like it changes depending on where my head is turned and honestly those eyeshadow shoots really came in handy too with helping me shape this eye correctly um because it really made it easier for me to see to make sure that the they were level so that my eye shape uh stayed even and that i didn't wildly make a different uh eyeshadow shape on one eye from the other i mean obviously my brows are not perfectly matched so it, it's not they're not the eyeshadow looks aren't perfectly matched but i did it as close as possible and i went back in with that moonlit shade with a flat brush which picked it up nicely again though i had to be gentle because i didn't want to knock it out of the pan so then i got in real real close with some bl liquid black liner um like i said in my last video i'm trying to get better at that of doing a better job of trying new things and pushing myself artistically with my makeup looks and I feel like I've been being lazy by not doing liner like before I used to do liner no shadow or shadow no liner but now I'm trying to work to complete combine the two also my camera had cut off at this point so I had to turn it back on and this is actually a separate clip but again that's why those eyeshadow shields also came in handy because it helped me guide in drawing my eyeliner on correctly and making sure that they matched. I've been taking time to go slower and trying to create um, liquid liner looks based off my eye shape, which of course I have hooded lids. So it's a little bit different than just drawing a line across your lids because it won't show up the same. So I kind of have to make this funky like I don't even know how to describe it. It looks more like a bat wing than a traditional like winged liner on my eyelid because it's to match it better. So after I'm finished with that, I actually went through three different eyeliners to do this because for whatever reason, my eyeliners were not cooperating with me. Um, but also the brushes have different shapes. So that was kind of helpful. Like, I went in with a thinner brush liner. I think it was the KVD one uh, to create the exact shape I was looking for. And then used uh, the NYX one, which is a little bit wider to go across my actual eyelid. And then um, a thicker one that I have, a generic one, to like completely fill in the outline that I drew. And as you can see, I pulled off the um, stickers, but you don't see the fallout, especially which was really useful since the shades I used had glitter. But I did have actually have I'm wiping off glitter that was stuck on my face from the last look that I did. So, um, yeah. So next, what I did was I went in with one of those liquid liners that I had mentioned and used in the last Face Beat Fridays I had. Um, in the shade uh, lavender and another one that is this really pale pink from that set just to add some little accents around my eyes you know because outer space was kind of what I was thinking for this look so it left me a little bit more open and it let me accentuate the inner corners of my eye without creating something heavy there and then I um I did it on the the outer part, the inner corner of my lid, but also the inner corners of my eye. You can see me adding those in there. And I think they did a great job of just opening my eye up more and making the look, look uh, eye look, look more polished. So then I went back under my eyelids with that same twilight. No, sorry, not twilight. It's called Nightfall and night walk underneath my eyelids just to marry the two together and I took that moonlit shade in my inner corner so basically every color I laid on my lid I went and followed that same color scheme underneath my eyes to match them all together um so while that was setting I went right in behind it with my um mascara to do my lower lashes and you see me pulling the skin there because my eyes are really sensitive so I have to like 
blink it out so I don't rub my eyes. There's nothing actually in my eyes. My eyes just tear up really easily. So now you see me applying lash glue. That's right, I actually wore lashes for this look because I figured if I was gonna do it, I might as well go all the way out. I had already put on liner. Let's marry the whole look together. And believe it or not, your girl actually got these lashes on to stay on her first try. Um, and yes, the glue is white right now. It makes it easier to see, but it dries clear. Y'all see me? Look at my technique, y'all. I'm getting better. Um, it's actually also if you want to know which glue I use, it's the Kiss adhesive. It has a, it's a little white bottle with a gold top. Um, I know that people swear by the Duo glue, but I just I can't get it to work. This this glue though works really well for me because I can see it. It's a very quick process. I don't have to wait for it to dry down super long. Um, it just lets me, you know figure it out and I can see in between to notice if things aren't aren't lined up properly yes I did get a little bit on my lashes so don't don't be like me avoid that part and then I just went behind with um my mas same mascara that I applied on my lower lashes to cover up any shadow that I got on my natural lashes to make them blend in with the falsies better So at this point, that's when I go in and lay my brows down with the soap um, that I also bought from Makeup Revolution. And I gotta say guys, I really do like this technique. Um, it allows me to like pull all the hairs up, I can see all of them, and if I want to go over them with a brow product, I can. Um, it also makes it really easier for when I want to put gel or some sort of color on top. Because I get a better idea of where everything is going and it adds nice uh, texture to the brows. I will say don't be as heavy handed as me because you see some white. Um, I used a little bit too much soap. I think I needed more water. I was trying to decide if I wanted to put product on my brows and I decided that I did. It looked a little crazy at first um, but it, it worked itself out. So I went in with my ABH uh, brow pomade. I believe it's the shade Deep Brown. And just added a little bit of more of a tail onto my brows. Uh, they're trying to fill back in, uh, but the, the tail end of my brows isn't as uh, precise as I'd like it to be. And I like the flecked uh, hair look of like a, a messy boy brow. So I just accentuate those a little bit and then just taper them off at the end. Nothing too crazy. Um, Cause I don't, like I said before, I really just don't, I don't like an overly done brow. So I try to keep it as simple as possible, but just add a little bit more flair, that's all. So I'm about to start my face, but I feel like somehow it got missed in there. I did go in and use a, uh, like off white pencil underneath my in my waterline of my eyes so if you're like oh her eyes look bigger or this seems like a bigger white space I definitely put that on there before I use the bottom lash mascara um it doesn't matter what order you do it in you just have to make sure that you um probably want to do another layer of the mascara just so that the white doesn't um, end up covering it so yeah just so that wasn't missed but um so I decided to just go ahead and do my full face. Normally I, you know, you've seen me before where I contour and conceal before foundation. I just went ahead and did it on top. And it's mainly because my eye look is done. Um, I can afford a little bit more wiggle room because my eyes are finished. So everything is gonna be completely covered. I just wanted a full uh, face. The, the eyes were the focus, so skin wasn't really my priority. But I think I think it worked well. Um, I still am using the NYX foundation, and instead of using the uh, um, Too Faced one where it's a little bit lighter, 
like I said, eyes are the focus. So I did end up going ahead and using the NYX concealer that is a little bit closer to my skin tone because I wanted a more natural look instead of a really dramatized one that I normally go for. I did later on contour with the Too Faced one though just because I think that contour is a little bit better to contour my round face. So other than that though, um, I kept it simple. So I put concealer on my upper lip, my chin, down the center of my nose, the middle of my forehead, and underneath my eyes. And then you see me take the NYX contour shade that's a little bit darker around my chin, um, the corners of my nose, the insides of my inner corners of my eyelids, and down my cheekbones. But I do go in with the Too Faced contour and do my forehead, my cheekbones. And I think that was it for this particular time because like I said, I didn't want a, a contrasty face. And just notice how I'm using the Beauty Blender. The edges to get into tight corners, underneath my eye, um, blending things down, removing stuff, different, um, using the bottom to do my nose. Uh, and then I went in with that darker contour on my nose, you see on the edges. And it was really coming out beautifully. Um, I was really satisfied with the look. Now I'm taking my deeper contour and Too Faced to do my head, my chin. I mean, sorry, my head, my cheekbones, and my jawline. Um, just to add a little bit more definition in those particular places. Uh, but nothing too crazy this time because they weren't really the focus. And somehow I managed to skip powdering my face. So if you're like, girl, you missed this step, I did. I did not powder anything today. I think that's because I was on a time constraint, though, because I was already had, supposed to woke my mom up like an hour before this, and I didn't. I just let her sleep so I could do this and get this done. <laughs> and that's when I come in and I bronze with my Fenty bronzer uh, in the shade Mocha Mommy. And I did go back behind that color with uh, the Tammy face palette uh, that matches, that complements this uh, eyeshadow palette um, in the shade Deep. So in the palette, I was right. It comes with a blush, a contour, and a highlight. A blush, contour, highlight. And I don't think... I don't I can't think of what the fourth one would be because it's not a concealer at least I don't think so it's too I think it was too deep to use as a concealer but uh it worked and see I was a little heavy-handed I went around my whole head like my forehead but you know I look sun-kissed and then I used that same blush from that Tammy face palette to blush my face and I really liked it I did um it complimented very well and I don't know if she thought of that in and ahead of time like how the blushes that she picked would complement the colors in the palette um but it worked um my camera had disrespected me and shut off for a third time so I honestly couldn't tell you why it is a different lighting because I don't think I changed anything but excuse the extra brightness but yes you see me from that same palette I used the highlighter that's in there as well so the blush that I used I'm trying to think I think maybe I used the brush from a different palette because as you can see, the one in my hand is more of a peach color, but I did apply that, that one on top. So I'm actually wearing two blushes in this video. And I used that highlighter on my chin, the center of my nose, the tip of my nose, my ears, um, the corn uh, underneath my eyes on the tops of my cheekbones. And I did not use it on the center of my lip this time because I used a different topper that matched the lip color that I'm gonna put on and you'll see soon. And yes, the blush does look a little heavy handed, but when I spray it all down and blend it down, it looks fine. So I'm now lining my lips in the MAC Lip Pencil shade Behemoth, uh, which is this deep red color, burgundy S. Uh, originally I was gonna do brown, but I feel like brown would have looked too muted. I actually wish I had a green lip originally is what I was looking for and I thought I had a green lipstick but I guess I was very wrong but that's fine 
it still works out in my favor. Um, I was trying to make sure that I completely lined my lips nice and evenly, and I did overline a little bit on the bottom, uh, just for the sake of evenness. So as my base color, I'm applying this shade by Nika K Cosmetics, which is a brand I get out of the beauty supply store. Um, I think the shade is called, darn it, where'd it go? NTM23, it's this deep uh, lavender purple shade, kind of on the grayer side. It might be it, let's see, yeah. And I, it's a matte finish. So I did that as my base. Um, while that dried down, I went ahead and cleaned off my jewelry. So off my gauges, my industrial bar, my septum, my nose ring, and my uh, uh, Medusa. And turned it around. <laughs> and I then went in the center as a lighter shade with a KBV shade in the shade Aisha, which is this lavender color. So I added that on top of the deep purple as a highlight. And um, I am a drama girl, so I went ahead and added another shade in the middle um, in the shade Suspiria, which is also by KBV. It's like a pink, uh, pink lavender a brighter shade and then I went over it the top of it after it dried down with a glitter highlight uh, which is I think by Lime Crime it's like a glitter topper it's like a purple blue glitter and then I sprayed everything down with the uh, 3-in-1 RX setting spray and patted everything down by the way uh, this time I primed my face with um the primer water by Smashbox. So I did not use the grip, uh, milk hydro grip this time around. And I'm just taking a moment to clean up all the excess makeup off my hairline. And that is the completed look. Also, I highlighted above my brow bone. I forgot to tell you all that. Okay, okay, thanks, bye. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.